This SHOT Show coverage is sponsored by Ace Virtual Shooting, Filster Holsters, Night Vision Inc., and PTS. Links will be in the description. What is up, YouTube? My name is David Lee, and you're watching Asian with Hat. And we got Nate from Spirit Assistance over here. What do you got here for SHOT Show 2024? Yeah, for sure. Uh, thanks for stopping by. So the first thing that we got, biggest thing, is going to be the Thing 3. So the Thing 3 is going to be replacing the Thing 2. Uh, over the past couple of years, we've gotten some feedback. And the number one thing was people wanted to carry more stuff. And the radio pouches on the back weren't as accommodating as they would like, especially with the adoption of like the PRC-163, right. really chonky radio. Mm -hmm. People were having to modify the radio pouch, so we just nixed it entirely. Mm -hmm. So now, you just have front and back, fully reversible, so you can load this thing down with as many or as few pouches as you want. And there's no compromise because you're using the Tegris, right? Exactly, yes. So this has Tegris running through it, very, very strong, very rigid, but still, you have some hinging in here, mm -hmm. so this will be... Adjustability. Will, it'll conform to the body quite well. The uh, fourth row Molly was basically because people wanted to be able to use our GP talls or our GP medium pouches or anything else. Or yes. just more, sustain, more sustainment, more stuff. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Moving right along, we have the baby spud pouch. So we had a radio company approach us about making a battery pouch for them. And at that point, it was a pretty easy kill just to, you know make a frag grenade pouch and or you know zen cans lensatic compass <laughs> it just all depends on uh, what you want to throw in here but this is just a nice little gp pouch open it up we have a snap so obviously with frag grenades or other sensitive items you don't want to be losing those with a uh, velcro failure yep. so the snap ended up being the best option for that if you don't want to run the flap you can also just run a bungee with these two tabs right here yep this all up to personal preference. You can also adjust retention via this barrel and cord on mm -hmm. the side here, just like with the big spud. So that's that. Um, yeah, no belt pass through just because it's so small. Right. But it's right. just how the Molly is. It'll yeah. understand the belt just fine. Yep. Moving right along. Yep. 556 five, elastic pouches with Molly on the back. So we had a 556. Five, elastic placard mm -hmm. it was doing quite well but the number one request that we got and feedback was hey put molly on the back which you know what simple easy enough yeah we like to placate we updated it a little bit we added some velcro field yep. so for the people that are running like a mark 5 and they have this on the front you can run a pangolin no, flap yeah, like, yeah. over the top of that yep. so when you draw a mag it shrinks down but then you still have that mag black retention and then also for the law enforcement guys they want to you know want to have a big huge sheriff or police patch on the front here yeah or you know whatever else you want to put on your uh i've always wondered field. why people needed the needed the patch stuff but that or not patch stuff, the velcro stuff that makes a lot of sense yep there's little extra accessories or it's all the small things right exactly it's the little details yeah um yeah and you got some ipac stuff going on over here yes we do so we have the med sled so when we set out to make this, we realized that it didn't really make sense to make another IFAC pouch. We wanted to make an IFAC insert because we have pouches like our GP Medium and other companies have their stuff as well. People already have a lot of these pouches. So we wanted to just make something that you just throw inside of that pouch or maybe it goes in your pack, it goes in your car door. Just something really simple. As a person that goes to the range, you should always plan on having an IFAC. Mm -hmm. So it's always convenient. You know, separate from having a one that's sealed, having one that's you know deployable, already set, and you can just throw it in the truck and always forget about it. In case there's ever an injury or some accident or something crazy that happens, you can always have something like this in your truck. And it's always good to have something this small because you can never have like a giant eye pack that just randomly in the vehicle, right? Yeah, of course. Awesome. So, so yeah. And um, this is like something you saw on the website? Yes. So people have asked, you know, does this come fully stocked? The answer is no, unfortunately. But what we do offer is our solo kit and our refuel kit. The solo kit will fit perfectly in here. Pretty much all the contents in this one that's already set up are out of a solo kit. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, this is about what you can insect volume wise to be able to get one of these guys. The only thing that this is gonna be missing is trauma shears and a tourniquet. Typically people have those in other spots on their equipment or you know in their, in their uniform and whatnot. So that was just kind of, this is about as much stuff as you could cram into it. 
Awesome. Yeah. When it closes up, it's got this elastic, mm -hmm. so it conforms pretty nicely to whatever you're throwing in here, mm -hmm. just to be about as accommodating as possible. Yep. This rip cord can either be mounted in a vertical or a horizontal position. It really just depends on how you want to have it orientated. Absolutely. And when you get it, you're going to get it with some elastic loops, and then you're going to get it with some shock cord, just a long piece of shock cord that you can cut down. Because obviously, you know, with medical, there is no one solution that fits everybody. There's different equipment. There's different ways people want to set things up. So once again, with like this dot grid system, we just want to be as accommodating as possible. Lots of adaptability. Yes. A lot of accommodation. Awesome. That's pretty much it from Spiritus, isn't it? It is. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Nate. Thank you. We'll see you guys in the next video, SHOT Show 2024.